going on, everybody? I hope all of you are doing well. Make sure I did not mute my microphone. Uh, this is the Roaming Prepper channel. I'm your host, Pete. And today, I want to share an interesting hypothesis that I heard from another creator. Um, and sadly, I can't remember the creator's name. It was on another platform. I'll be right back. And let's talk about it. And this is going to be very much a down the rabbit hole kind of thing. So... A little bit of conspiracy theory today. Don't take it too personal. Don't take it too seriously. But I just found it interesting. I'll be right back. Let's talk about it. Okay, so there's another creator I follow. I believe it was on TikTok on this one. And uh, this guy does some really cool conspiracy type you know edgy stuff but his hypothesis on this one actually got me to stop because usually i'm like okay the green aliens are not in my kroger and i don't have a chupacabra in my backyard that i know of but this one was actually interesting so he said he thinks there's something more going on like a lot of us are saying well you know um you know the democrats or the government or the deep state tried to delete trump and then other people are saying well since the debate went badly and they couldn't delete trump they're going to delete biden or they're going to you know put him in the corner or whatever and of course over the last three weeks we've watched an abysmal debate followed by the big boy press conference which was garbage followed by um donald getting plinked in the ear by a guy who very much wanted to delete him. And I'm using that word on purpose. Um, followed by the president suddenly having an issue in Air Force One, and all of a sudden he's walking off the airplane kind of janky looking. And now he's been gone. The president, it's the 23rd today. I'm, I'm recording this a few days early. As of the 23rd, the president has not been seen by anybody in public. He allegedly called into Kamala's uh, campaign, which is fine. Presidents and people get sick. There is a place in the Constitution. If I'm the president and I start getting sick or I have a health issue, I turn over responsibilities to the VP. I give other responsibilities to the SecDev, Secretary of State, etc. Not abnormal. But he said for the fact that these things all happened – in the same election, on the same year, and not only that, within weeks of each other, is really weird. And his thought is, someone's trying to upend our country completely, like some other power. It's not like, oh, the government doesn't want this guy, they want that guy. Somebody above them, somebody somewhere else, like some greater entity, not a, not a demon or a god per se, but some organization or some influence on this earth is actually trying to take out the contenders. So uh, his hypothesis was um, they had the debate, right? And then the attempt on the dawn and it failed right before the Republican convention. Then Trump survives the attempt, then names a young Marine, a young military guy as his running mate going forward a guy with a really profound story you know rags to riches type stuff that becomes uh that becomes the running team not a week later the other candidate gets sick then suddenly drops out of the election and then drops out of sight it's been almost a week at this point nobody has laid eyes on the president not the press not the public nobody so his hypothesis is someone was trying to actually take out both candidates. Now, up until he said that, I was thinking, oh, well, maybe this happened or that happened or someone back here didn't want him. But he's and his thought is they want to weaken the country. They want to turn the U.S. into complete turmoil because even though Biden has endorsed Harris, Obama did not, but the Clintons did. So let's think about that. Now you have certain politicians here saying, yes, we want Harris. Obama said, no, I'll announce someone else. He wants an open contest. Another group is saying they want um, 
Oh, uh, shoot. Kelly, Scott Kelly, uh, the husband of Senator Kelly who got shot years ago um, as the candidate because he's a military guy too. But the bottom line is now the Democratic Party is in shambles. Had they succeeded in deleting Mr. Trump, that party would have been in shambles as well. His hypothesis is there is a foreign or greater player trying to literally throw the whole election in turmoil. They don't even want a Democrat or Republican to win. They want nobody to win. Just think about it. So I did some statistical research. And so in the, um, and I'll find, let me see if I can find my, uh, my cheat sheet. Because uh, the way it worked is the United States right now, I'm going to share a nifty little screen with you. Share screen. Um, I'm just going to find, let me find my blank page. Uh, I do not have a blank page. Okay, never mind. I won't be sharing that with you. Uh, oh, well, sorry about that, guys. Uh, so anyway, I was trying to share a screen with you. Apparently, the software said we won't be doing that. So anyway, the United States right now is 247 years old. So uh, 247 47 years by 365 days in 247 years, the United States, as of February, was roughly 90,155 days old. So let's remember that, 9,155. There have been eight recorded attempts on a president or candidate since the beginning of U.S. history. So eight divided by 90, oops, 9,155. That is the likelihood that any given day, someone will try and assassinate a presidential, a president or a presidential candidate. 0. 0.00008. What is that? That's eight, ten hundred thousands, ten thousands, eight, eight millionth. How crazy is that? Um, So think about that for a second. Now, another statistic I read said that the likelihood of both a presidential candidate having an attempt on their life and a candidate, not necessarily the same one or a different one, dropping out in the same political race, according to both an AI engine and some articles I've been reading, is 1%. So there's a 99% likelihood that those two things will never happen at the same time. Almost 100% because there's actually under 1% chance. So think about that. In any given, in any given election, that 90,155 divided by 8. So there's an attempt on a presidential candidate or actual president every 10,000 days, every 10,000 days, and divide by uh, 365. So every 30 years, somebody tries to take the life of a president or presidential candidate on average. The same rough number can be said about candidates, presidential candidates dropping out of the race. So let's think about that real quick. One in 10,000 chance in any 30-year period that someone's going to make an attempt on the president or a candidate. And both the illness and stepping down and the assassination attempt have happened within the same two-week period. The, this probability, the statistical likelihood is minuscule that that would happen at the same time. Could it be random chance? Sure, it could be. But man, that guy really got me thinking. And again, I said this is completely a conspiracy theory. It's actually more, it's not even a conspiracy theory. It's a hypothesis that foreign players or enemies of the state, because the argument has always been if it was 
the deep state, well, the deep state would want a candidate favorable to them. What they would not want is the removal of all candidates because then there's none to lead or manipulate or anything. We would be rudderless and that would be bad for everyone. So his hypothesis was it's not the deep state. The deep state does its deep state thing, but there's something else literally trying to remove all our candidates from this election and leave us leaderless going into 2025. At the same time, we're seeing mass invasion at the southern border, an escalation in Ukraine, escalations in Israel, and the potential for escalations in China. Who would benefit? A lot of people. And sadly, we've made a lot of enemies. But I thought I'd leave you with that very interesting conspiracy hypothesis that this guy threw out there. Uh, and when I started running numbers, that was actually super interesting to hear that. I mean, think about it. One out of 10,000 days, you'd have one attempt on a president or candidate's life. That number is very small probability. Just something to think about that we've actually had that and the stepping down, which is roughly the same number. There have been about 10 presidents or candidates who've stepped down and bailed out of an election. So those numbers are pretty close. But both happening in the same election within the same month, super interesting. And even right now, the Democratic Party cannot agree on their candidate. And the Republicans are just finally gelling theirs. Makes you wonder who's trying to screw up the election for both sides to the point where it throws the whole country in chaos. Who would benefit? That would be a whole nother video. But I just wanted to throw that one out there at you because I thought that was super interesting. Folks, I'll leave you with that. Until next time, God bless, God speed. Continue to prep. Continue to be smart. Save your money. Use your brain. And... uh Pay attention when you're out and about. You never know when something's going to happen. And this last year, <sighs> insane. You guys be good. Be safe out there.